Hello everybody, today in this video I will be giving my thoughts and opinions on Big Dipper located at Camden Park in Huntington, West Virginia. Before I get into it though, if you are new here and you like what I post, consider subscribing. It really helped me out a lot on my journey to 500 subscribers and I really do have something funny planned. So if you guys want to see that, please share as many videos as possible or if you are just new here and you like what I post, just consider subscribing. You don't have to, but hey, it helps me out and it keeps on motivating me to make more videos. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the review. So I'm gonna be honest, I was not expecting making this video at all. I was thinking of actually doing a Shockwave review, but then I was just thinking of how great Big Dipper was and how I'd like to get back on that ride again. And then I was thinking about everyone hating on me, liking it better than every other wooden coaster I've been on. And um, I just wanted to get my opinions out there and why this ride was really good. So what better way to do that than a review? So here we are. So usually I start off with the stats, but there really isn't many stats besides it was opened in 1958 and it was built by National Amusement Device Company. I would assume that the height is around 45 feet tall and the speed's probably like, I don't know, 40, maybe even 35 miles an hour. It doesn't really go that fast. So that's what I would assume, but let's just get right into the ride experience. So first, you'll start off by taking a ride out of the station and going up the supposedly 45 foot tall lift hill. After this, you'll take a small dip. Nothing special, but you do get a little bit of whip in the back. After this, you take a nice, slow 180 degree turn to your left and down the incredible 200, no, it's just like a 30 like foot tall drop and it's nothing special. Except, it is special. So, we can get this front row PV. Doesn't look like much, right? Just a normal old drop. Then you're in the back row. This thing is legendary in the back row. I've heard it's jackrabbit level ejector airtime. Like, it's insane. I came so far off my seat. And even in the POV, you'll hear my surprise of how good this drop is. Just take a listen. Get ready. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Yeah! So, yeah, that drop. It blew me away, and that's why I, that's the main reason why I like this ride a lot. But okay, enough of the drop. After the drop, you come up into another little dip, and then you take a nice, another 180 degree turn to the left. And then you have a moment of straight track. It's a really nice moment of straight track, actually. I like it. Anyways, you take another drop off the straight track, and this is another point of ejector airtime that is just awesome. It's not as good as the drop, but it's still pretty good. After this, you go up and you turn in, and you turn into a tunnel, and it's another 180 degrees to your left. Well, maybe not 180, but it's, I guess it's, I actually don't know if it's 180 degrees or not, but whatever. You take a really big turn to your left. You come out of the tunnel, and dropping out of this tunnel, you get another good dose of ejector airtime. Again, it's not as good as the second or the first time, but it's still ejector nonetheless. Then you go up into an airtime hill, and then you pop in to the brake run. So this ride, of course, on paper doesn't is not supposed to be like elite or anything, but it is. I don't know how. I just the way the drop is profiled is just insane. So why are you guys hating on this ride? Please tell me in the comments down below. After hearing that and after hearing my reaction, like I don't know how you couldn't like this ride. Now obviously it's like literally in the middle of nowhere in a state that has only one amusement park and it's probably 45 feet tall now seriously how could this be better than comet or lightning racer let me give you an example lightning racer is floater comet is floater big dipper is ejector would you prefer floater or ejector airtime you would probably prefer ejector airtime most of you so if big dipper was the only wooden roller coaster that you've been on that has ejector airtime you would probably like it better than all of the other roller coasters and I said most likely, there are some special cases where you might not like it as much. So guys, please stop hating on this ride. It is awesome. If you can, go out and ride this for yourself and please get the hype. Everyone sleeps on this ride because it's in the middle of nowhere. People rave about Phoenix. It's literally the exact same thing on a smaller scale. So yeah, please open your mind and please stop hating on this ride and please stop hating on me for liking this more than any other wooden coaster I've been on. It's a good ride. But I'm sorry for that rant, guys. That is basically the end of this video. There's not really much more to talk about here besides that it's actually pretty sketchy. But that's pretty much it. It is a very sketchy ride, I will say. 
But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all for watching this video. Tell me, please tell me if anyone's written this because I am actually very curious. And if you haven't, please tell me whether or not this review wanted you to actually go out and try this ride. I hope it did, but it probably didn't. So I guess that's fine. It's your preference. But if you like this video, drop a like down below. And again, comment your thoughts on this ride down below. But that's all I got for you guys today. And I'll see you all later. Bye.